Are you getting ready to enter in a loan payment and you're wondering how do you break down the principal and interest properly in QuickBooks? You are in the right place. If we've never met before, hello, I'm Candace Camper. I love to help business owners and bookkeepers create confidence with QuickBooks. And today we're talking about loan payments. So if you've not already set up your loan, make sure to go up above or down below and check out that video. And in this class, we're gonna talk about video, I guess it's not really a class, but in this video, we're gonna talk about online. So if you're needing the desktop version, I will also link that up above. So let's jump in. The assumption is you've already set up your loan and you're just coming in here to pay for it so um, to apply the payment so we're going to go into our chart of accounts you're going to find that under accounting chart of accounts if you're using the bookkeeper version you're going to find yours here under bookkeeping and then you'll find your chart of accounts okay so just in case you're using the other version i want to make sure i give you both initially it doesn't look that much different but they have different screens so you are going to come in here and remember your loans if they are paid off within 12 months will be a current liability. They're gonna be paid longer than that, they'll be long-term, including mortgages, things like that are also considered long-term. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to set up your interest expense. Go to the top, type in interest, and see if interest expense has been included. Okay, this can be interest that you paid, not interest that you earned, you'll see a difference. So when you go in here to set this up, you're gonna click new, choose expense, drop this down, choose expense here. Then you're going to say tax form. If you don't already have it set up, scroll down to interest paid, add interest expense, or you can do mortgage interest if you want, but make sure to set that up and click save. I've already done that. It's here for me, but you'll see I've already done the exact same thing. Okay, now let's jump in and actually make the payment. That's what you're here for, right? So let me take my face off so you can see. You're gonna go up to the new. Now you can do this in the bank feed, but only after you understand the concept. So we're gonna keep it super simple. We're just gonna go do it as if it's an ACH. Now, if you're needing more how-tos to properly understand QuickBooks, I'm gonna recommend you check out my Commons QuickBooks training program. It teaches more in depth on the different types of ways that you can enter in your income or expenses. But for today, we're gonna keep it super basic with and simple step-by-step step with how to do the expenses. Okay, so you're gonna click expense. We're going to add a loan here. So let's add, we'll do a Wells Fargo loan. So remember, if you haven't set this up before, when you first add it, you wanna make sure you add the loan. Even though it's in the chart of accounts, you also wanna see it under the vendors. The reason that I have you put this in as a vendor is so you can find it and it'll help memorize it so it keeps it easier for you. If you have different loans, you're gonna to wanna to have different vendors for each of those loans just to make your life easier and properly track it, all right? Then you're gonna choose the type of account that you paid it with. In this example, it's gonna be bank account, the date it was paid on. If you're going back and entering prior payments, um, as long as it's in the current tax year, go ahead and enter it in that way. If you have a way that you paid it that's in alignment, you can enter it here. Otherwise, you can put it in under the reference, let's say ACH. Then you're gonna go here, you're gonna choose which accounts you wanted to show up on. So let's say that we're gonna do our interest first. We know we have interest expense. And let's just say the interest expense is 800 because a lot of times when you first start a loan, you actually pay more in interest than you do in principal, unless you're making extra principal payments. Then we're gonna choose our notes payable here. And let's say that the total amount was to um, $1,000. So we're gonna say interest was 800 principles too. Now you're not going to just guess this. <laughs> it should be on your statement. So make sure you grab your statement. Sometimes your mortgage statement comes, will show the breakdown the following month. So sometimes you have to just throw it in here, but then always come back to clean it up. Quick tip that I want to make sure you know about is don't forget to reconcile all your loans at least yearly so that on your taxes, the interest and principles broke down properly. You can do it every month, but realistically, as long as you're going back and applying it, once a year is fine. You just wanna make sure that you are accurately recording your interest expense, okay? If you have escrow or those types of things, you can add those in here. You're just gonna break them out accordingly. That is something that I do teach inside of Comms QuickBooks. So if you need more about that, make sure to check it out. If you have any notes or you wanna upload any screenshots, any statements that you have, you can do that and your memo would go here. You can always break down the date of the payment or what period of time it's for here in the description as well. And then down here at the very bottom, you're gonna see save and close. 
perfect. Now your payment has been entered. So then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna look at our loan that we did. Remember your loan is gonna be right here. You can view it and you can see your original per, um, loan that you added and then your payment. Where are you gonna see this on which reports? Remember that loans show up on your balance sheet because it's a liability, because it's assets, liability, and equity. And the interest expense is the part you're actually gonna see on your profit and loss, just the expense side of it. A lot of times people say, well, why don't I see the whole loan payment? And that's because, remember, loans are not a business expense, but the interest is. What you use to purchase that loan with is the business expense, okay? So if you enjoyed this tip, let me know down below any ahas that you had. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you're new here. And if you'd like to get these tips and tricks in your inbox every single week, go up above or down below and we'll send them to you. And if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I really wanna learn more about how to use QuickBooks properly, check out our customizing QuickBooks workshop. I'll link it above and down below. And if you say, okay, I know the how to's, I know how to use QuickBooks, but I need to learn how to clean up my mistakes. Like for example, how do you clean up loans if you have old loans that have been entered in or weren't applied properly, check out our Cleaning Up QuickBooks workshop. Thank you so much for being part of my community. I can't wait to see your ahas below, and I'll see you inside my next tip and trick. Have an amazing day. Bye.